Hi guys, nice to see you again and thank you for watching the Cooking with an Italian. Today guys, again, charcuterie, something very, very mwah, nice and unusual. We're going to make a kind of, of salami, uh, but not in the skin. It's uh, quite rare salami. It's from Italy. It's come from North Italy. It's very old fashioned salami. And I'm gonna show you how you make this. It's, uh, it's very, very cool. You know, you imagine it's without skin. Uh, I'll show you the ingredient we need. It's very easy ingredient. Uh, this, uh, this uh, I won't say just one thing. This, uh, this salami, very old fashioned. In the past, the original was uh, made from the game, the wild stuff, you know, like uh, fazan or rabbit, wild rabbit or any from the hunting but uh, I'm not going to shoot anything I, I, in this salami you can use any meat you like I'm going to use I'm going to use pork and goat uh, in the total this meat I'm going to use is kilo and a half is uh, 700 pork 400 uh, is goat uh, 300 is uh, pork and 100 is uh, the lardo and we're going to cut in cube we need a uh, half glass of wine Hey, uh, yesterday I put inside a, a garlic and three or four uh, bay leaves. I need uh, for kilo and a half 40 grams of sea salt, a, a carefully going to be sea salt, five grams of uh, black pepper, fine ground, and uh, a teaspoon of uh, gram, uh, the, the pepper, all grain, all right. grain, and the introduce you the going to be the skin gonna be this the corn flour this is the all ingredient we need the first thing we have to cut all this meat we're gonna do like uh, a tartare oh no I'm start from the, the goat I already I asked my butcher to trim but you know always if you find you can you do gonna do like this okay Cut stuff in strip like this. You're gonna take your time. Maybe you for cut one half kilo meat, you're gonna need I don't know half an hour, one hour. But try to do this. You know, this gonna be the side, and later maybe take again and do another like tartar. Okay, stuff like that. Don't gonna be too fine. Okay. No more than this, okay? Try to cut everything, and later we're gonna mix everything. And I, I don't want to be long, but I'm start cutting, and on in the way I show you the process, okay? See you later. The process, the work is in progress. Now I'm, I'm already cut the goat. I cut the belly. Now I cut the lardo. The lardo, you know, cut the straight blade and chop it you know i think you know like this not more because they're gonna stick together with lardos guys it's up to you i recommend even less than 100 grams because we have uh, the belly is uh, fat the pure fat uh, from the lardo is i recommend around 50 60 grams not more later it's up to you i don't want someone like more but you know gonna be like this you know around 50 60. later when we we cut everything I, anyway i'm gonna show you we're gonna do this we're gonna mix everything again all the meat we're gonna we're gonna make a little bit more fine like tartare but not much okay we're gonna make it like this and later we're gonna mix with the spicy, okay? Now I'm going to cut, to cut this loin. It's already take me, for this, to probably already take me over half an hour, okay? I'm going to finish this and I'll show you the rest, okay? Guys, after almost one hour, all the meat is cut. I use just 60 grams of pure fat. Now we mix everything together and we're gonna do another quite like tartare. We do this and start again. Not gonna be someone do very old fashioned, they use two knives. 
do this for another maybe five six minutes make more like tartar and i show you the next step okay okay i think is enough when you have something like this you know it's quite me we we don't want really very 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 big. we we need quite the the half way okay now everything in the bowl is almost done it even is uh, quite quickly this okay now we start so put first half pepper the grain we start to mix well we put the rest pepper the rest of the soul we mix quickly again now we add the the wine half a glass of red wine even even you can use wine up to you i last night i put inside three or four bay leaves just to give flavor and and one garlic guys the smell is amazing the wine in everything and now guys is very important this you mix very good at least 20 minutes until the meat don't gonna stick on your hand you know now nothing when stick on your hands is is ready okay see you in a 20 minutes half an hour you gonna have something like this you know stick everything there now the, we're gonna do just a very simple thing we're gonna make a big meatball like this i will make maybe four from here try to do properly to maybe a little bit more here yeah. Try to make a very nice ball. Take the corn flour. This is a flour for, in Italy, we, we call for polenta. If you find this, it's probably one. But corn flour, of course, is, is enough. Now, it's just when you use bread crumb. You do everywhere. It's very cool, this salami, guys. This is gonna be like the skin for this salami. You think I'm joking? No, it's true, you see? Now, make sure it's everywhere and find something like this. Yeah, I'm at home, I know I'm not. I find just this. You make sure you're gonna be ready the space in the fridge because they're gonna take around 60 days because without skin, they dry even early. But this is because we're gonna have the fermentation around 18 to 24 hours. I later I wanna be more precise around we need 22 26 degree you know if uh, this is the ideal temperature you know now I'm going to make uh, another one the same and the rest I will make one spicy because I like spicy I gonna add uh, in that some cayenne I gonna mix spicy you see it's strange guys but it's true okay I leave it here when it's finished everything in this one I want to show you just this. In this rest I have something like two teaspoons of spice cayenne. I mix everything and I'm gonna make two like that and two spicy. Okay? See you later when is everything finished. Okay, guys, this is last one. This and this one they're gonna be spicy. You can use uh, any ingredient you like, to be honest. But the important is you respect the salt. Now, one very important thing, guys, is fermentation. We're going to leave this 18 to 24 hours, plus every day we're gonna turn it like that, you know? Because they're gonna dry from everywhere, they're gonna start drying. And after the fermentation, make ready the space in the fridge because they, you see, you can manage, I don't know, to in the in the side but they're gonna be in the fridge maybe on the top shelf around two months but we're going to be more precise later i'm now i going to put this to live in the room temperature fermentation uh, i think maybe i'm gonna put close to the radiator to have more heat and uh, see you in uh, 18 24 hours when we move this in the fridge okay ciao 24 hours fermentation for me is, is gone, is on, is over. This is the salami without uh, skin, with uh, corn flour around. It's just like that. Now you have to do this, just turn all. This try to do every, not every day, but every couple days you have to do this, because it's gonna dry 
very nice from everywhere. Now, this going in the fridge around two months. I find it like that, but you find your space. You know? This is gonna be here. I show you here, I have already my Lonzino this couple day and we we're gonna try it, okay? Well, see you when the salami without skin is ready, okay? In couple months. Bye bye. Guys, after one month, four weeks, the salami, the bold one without uh, skin, I think it's ready. And now we're going to try it. It's a little bit moldy because without skin, you know, to see, you know, it's a little bit molding but it's uh, it's quite okay we can do this when the salami is like this i try this to brush you know it's the smell is very nice you have to do just this just to see brush and brush it like this all with the vinegar you see all the stuff coming because that molding is not good to eat you know and coming see it's all it's a bit here. I'm very curious now to try it. Do this. You see, guys? I show you it. It's completely off. Now it's time to try it. I hope it's nice inside. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. The smell, wow. It's something, wow. I'm already happy this is with uh, goat and uh, pork if you like you can eat just like that or if you're not sure that skin just lay out wow the smell is very nice or you can eat with that the best way to try it is with some bread guys i'm trying Wow, absolutely delicious. Well done, Piero. Very, very nice. Wow, guys, the salami without skin and ball is this. Amazing. Very, I'm very proud of this. Well, is this the salami without skin? If you like, finger up and follow us. Ciao.